guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about Charlotte Tilbury products. More specifically, I'm going to be talking about my 10 favorite Charlotte Tilbury products that aren't pillow talk. As some of you might know, Charlotte Tilbury is going to be launching an all pillow talk collection in just a few days. It's already on her website and it's launching at Nordstrom, I believe the 30th of this month. And it is all pillow talk themed. Pillow Talk is a beautiful, beautiful collection. I absolutely love it and it deserves all of the hype that it has. But the idea behind this video is to share with you guys my top 10 favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury that aren't related to that collection, just to highlight other really amazing Charlotte Tilbury products that I am totally obsessed with. This video is in collaboration with Erin Nicole here on YouTube. This girl is an amazing creator. She has a YouTube channel fully dedicated to luxury products and luxury reviews so I know that you guys would absolutely love her and I recommend that you go check out her page she reviews like the entire collections from brands like Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, Dior, Chanel and other amazing luxury brands and she gives very detailed very honest reviews she has a beautiful bubbly personality I think you guys will absolutely love her and love her content so of course I'm going to link her channel in the description box down below and at the end of this video so that you guys can go watch her video after mine this video idea was hers and she is also going to be mentioning her top 10 Charlotte Tilbury products that aren't pillow talk on her channel we have seen each other's picks and I am so curious to see if her picks are like polar opposites of mine or if we have products that overlap in our top 10 products that are in pillow talk so please check out her video after you watch this one subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you all right so with all of that said let's get started with what you clicked on this video for which is my 10 top favorite Charlotte Dubry products that are in pillow talk I'm going to be telling you guys about them in order of application because I'm going to be showing you clips of how I use them today and towards the end of the video I will tell you my top three products from all ten that I talked about and why they are my absolute must-have from Charlotte Tilbury the first product I wanted to talk about is this beautiful jar right here. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. This is what got her brand started, the first product Charlotte created, and what basically got the ball running for her. This right here is not just a moisturizer. I feel like a lot of us have that misconception. I certainly did before I worked for the brand. Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream is a 3-in-1 product. So you're getting serum ingredients in it, you're getting moisturizing ingredients in it, and it also prepares your skin for the makeup application so you can use it as your makeup primer and skip a step which is very convenient when you're in a hurry by the way so let me tell you guys a little bit about the ingredients in it magic cream is packed full of hyaluronic acid it has a patented peptide complex that stimulates the production of collagen in the skin it has vitamin C and vitamin E so it's going to help to brighten, lighten, tighten, it's going to help to plump up your skin and it's going to help you absorb hydration. So if you have anywhere from combination to dry skin, you are absolutely going to love this moisturizer. If you have oily skin, you can still use it, maybe more as a nighttime treatment. Besides that, it has amazing hydrating ingredients in it as well. This moisturizer has aloe vera, which is nice and calming. It has shea butter, which feels amazing on the skin. It has rosehip oil and camellia oil, which are all going to seal in the moisture and give your skin the softest, just most beautiful feel to it. And it's going to give your skin a lot of radiance, which makes it the best foundation primer. It also has the most fantastic scent, and the scent is frangipani extract. It smells absolutely delicious, and this is sensitive skin friendly. I get rosacea bumps immediately when I use products that have synthetic fragrance added. I don't know if this one has a little bit of that or not, but it definitely does not make my rosacea go crazy. It doesn't make my skin turn red. It actually has the opposite effect on me. It calms my skin. It soothes my skin. I can talk about magic cream all day, so let's go ahead and move on to the next product. The next product is this one right here. I think my bottle was in contact with something that made the letters of the outside of it start falling, and I put alcohol on a 
microfiber towel and like fully wiped everything off of it because it kept getting on my hands when I was putting it on and in turn I would get it on my face so it doesn't have any writing on it anymore but this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter which is another one of Charlotte's really popular products this is dew in a bottle it's a highlight that doesn't have shimmer or sparkle in it it just makes you look like you just like came from the gym you sweat it a little bit you just look beautiful dewy hydrated just radiant without it making your pores look larger without it making any lines or wrinkles look more apparent this is a beautiful highlight for more mature skin if you can't make highlighter work for you because it enhances any lines or texture you might have on your skin this right here is a beautiful option you can use it several different ways you can use it as your makeup primer i've seen people who apply it all over their face you can use it underneath your foundation to like let it shine through the foundation you can mix it in with the foundation or you can put it on top of the foundation when i first started using this one i would Right, when I first started using this one, I would scoop out a little bit of it and I would put a pump of foundation in the back of my hand, mix it together and put the mixture onto my skin and it would make any foundation I mixed it with a lot more radiant and dewy and hydrated. Recently, I saw Charlotte use it in a video and she used it the way that I'm showing you that I use it, which is just putting it on your face and blending it in with a brush or a sponge and then applying your foundation over top of it to let it shine through. This makes your cheeks look beautifully dewy and it looks like a, the most beautiful natural highlight. I absolutely love this product. You can use it with any foundation, any tinted moisturizer, and it gives your skin just the best effect. This is another product I could talk about all day, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I am the color 4 Neutral in this one. I have a whole first impressions video on this foundation that I'll link right there if you guys want to watch it. I fell in love with this foundation since the first time I used it. It is one of the few full coverage foundations that my skin loves for some reason. Usually things that have a full coverage, especially if they claim to have a matte finish, make me look dry. AF like they do not look good on me because I have such dry skin and this one since day one it looked amazing and wore amazing it's a foundation that I feel that looks good when I put it on but like 20 minutes 30 minutes one hour in it looks even better it just melts right into the skin this is one that I love mixing with my Hollywood flawless filter and it gives it the best effect I used to use them together all the time now I put this one underneath and this one on top and I absolutely love the mixture it is of course what I'm wearing right now and it just gives my skin the most like flawless full coverage look my fourth product I want to share with you guys is this right over here this is the Hollywood contour wand. I never used anything but powder contours until I found my Huda Beauty Tantour. I fell in love with the Huda Beauty Tantour. I still reach for it all the time. You guys know I used to mention it all the time because it was the only non-powder contour that I could use. And then I tried this right here. This is a liquid contour. It has a really nice applicator on the tip. It opens and closes so that it doesn't spill anywhere. If you get this one, don't ever leave it open like hanging upside down because the product will come out of it and you will waste a lot of it. Um, it has an open and close mechanism for a reason, so I recommend that you close it after you use it every time. This stuff right here gives you the most natural, beautiful looking contour. I'm showing you guys how to apply it and how half of my face looks with it versus without it. It gives your skin a beautiful shadow because it has the most perfect like cool tone effect. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. Today I put a bronzer that I'll be talking about in a second over it, but you can also use it without a bronzer and just make this one be your bronzer and it looks absolutely stunning like that as well. This right here is definitely like a magic trick in a bottle because it just makes you look slimmer instantly and it looks so freaking natural. It blends out like you wouldn't think anything liquid or cream would blend out. I so recommend that you guys get your hands on this. It is beautiful. Since I'm mentioning shades of things, I forgot to tell you that my 
Hollywood Flawless filter I use in shade number three. Like I said, the foundation is the four neutral and my Hollywood contour wand is the light medium shade. My next product is one that is also really talked about. I think when I first heard the name Charlotte Tilbury, this was the product that they were talking about. <laughs> and this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I used to have a love-hate relationship with this one because it would sometimes look amazing and sometimes not look as good as I wanted it to look. I kept putting it on people at work and I was like, Every time I put it on someone at work, it looks amazing on them, it blurs their pores, it does what it's supposed to do. I see why everybody raves about it, but then I'm at home sometimes and I put it on myself and it starts looking kind of like cakey on me and I cannot understand why for the life of me. Recently, Tara Lynn, who is my friend here on YouTube, she has an amazing channel as well, mentioned that she was using a specific brush for it and that she liked it with that brush only. and. I was like, okay, well, I gotta change my brush that I'm using because maybe it's just user error and at work I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury brush that was designed for it to apply it and it looks amazing on everybody and at home I was using my trusty number 79 brush by Sephora collection which I absolutely love and I've been setting my face with for like four years and it was not working. So just like a week or so ago i started using it with my sigma f35 and this is the way that i applied it today and with this brush it works amazingly with the charlotte tilbury um, contour brush it works amazingly so you definitely need to have either a smaller brush or a very soft brush to apply it with because since i switched my brush i absolutely love it on myself as well I like already loved it on everybody else. I just wanted to love it for me too. It's just interesting how with some things less is more. Um, so absolutely obsessed with this powder. It is the finest milled powder in the industry. It feels like silky butter. If you hate powder, if you don't like applying powder on yourself because it looks some type of way, I recommend that you give this one a try with a very soft brush and you will absolutely fall in love because it will set everything, make everything a little more matte, but it doesn't look like you just put powder on, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next product I'm going to talk about is this palette right here. This is the Instant Look in a Palette in Stoned Rose Beauty. I recently reviewed this palette. I'll also link that video up there for you guys to watch if you're interested. And there you can see me do my whole face with just this palette, which is not what I did today because my eyes are something else that is coming in the next video. <laughs> but this right here is so freaking beautiful. I heard mixed reviews on it because people who have bought palettes like this from her in the past say that like the shades are kind of repeated. This is my first look in a palette palette, so for me, they're not repeated. I find them absolutely beautiful to use. I do have her Filmstar Bronze and Glow Powder, which is her contour and highlighter powder, and I love this one, but I like this one better to the point that it made it into my top 10 products. Because of how convenient it is, you can be sure that whenever I leave this house to do anything whatsoever, and not come back the next day, like if I'm staying over one night just anywhere, I will be taking this palette with me. You get every powder you need to put on your face in this super beautiful compact. You get bronzer, blush, highlighter, and three eyeshadows. You can use all of these shades multiple ways. And this bronzer color right here, I like better than the bronzer in the Filmstar Bronzer and Glow. It's a bit rosier of a bronzer. You can build it up faster because it's a bit darker. It pairs amazing with the contour wand and the highlighters are pretty much the same thing. This retails for $75, that duo retails for $68, so this is a good deal. You get a lot for the $75. I love the concept of the look in a palette and I love every single shade that this palette has. So this right here is something that I'm very excited to own and I know that whenever I'm traveling anywhere, this is for sure what I'll be taking with me. 
The next product I want to talk to you guys about is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. She has the 5-in-1 Full Fat Lashes Mascara as well. I don't like that one half as much as I like this one right here. This mascara is so freaking beautiful. It gives you a ton of volume, a ton of length. I like it just as much as my trusty Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which you guys know I'm obsessed with that stuff, okay? So this right here, I love it just as much. It is a bit pricier, it is $32, but it gives you amazingly beautiful lashes. I love that you can build it and build it and build it, and it doesn't make your lashes look like clumped together. It actually helps separate them real nicely, and I don't find that it transfers on me at all whatsoever. So if you're in the market for a new mascara and you want to try a Charlotte Tilbury one, this right here is like a hidden gem in her collection. I absolutely love it. So everybody knows Pillow Talk is a beautiful lip liner and lipstick, but I feel like her lip products that aren't Pillow Talk are just as amazing and they're not talked about enough. In fact, I have a lip liner that I like more than Pillow Talk. And this right here is the iconic nude lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the most beautiful nudie brown lip liner. It pairs so nicely with so many different lipsticks. I absolutely love the way this looks. I can overline my lips slightly with it. I like it a lot better than Pillow Talk. If you've tried the Pillow Talk lip liner and you think that it's a bit too like peachy for you or too pinky for you, please go back to your local Charlotte Tilbury counter and try the iconic nude lip liner because you are absolutely going to love it. She has a ton of other lip liner colors that are also really good, but this one right here for me is the absolute winner from her lip liner collection. Okay guys, so my next product is lipstick. And I could tell you guys about one specific lipstick color I like better than Pillow Talk, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you three. This three count as one product because I make the rules here, okay? So these are my three favorite lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I have one from the Matte Revolution collection and two from the Hot Lips 2 collection. The first one I'm going to share with you is the Dance Floor Princess lipstick that is what I'm wearing today with the iconic nude lip liner and I absolutely love this lipstick. It's like pillow talk but a little shinier because it's not in her matte formula and it doesn't have peach in it. I feel like pillow talk is a combination of like pink and brown and peach and like just perfectly blended together. This right here does not have the peach in it, so it's just like a really nice nudie pink. I absolutely love it. I love to pair it with my iconic nude lip liner. It's my current favorite lipstick combination. The next one I'm going to tell you guys about is the JK Magic lipstick. This is the peachy version of the Dance Floor Princess, so it is a peachy nude rather than a pinky nude and I absolutely love it. I picked up this lipstick months ago at Sephora before I started working for Charlotte. Just 100% based on the fact that it was called JK Magic for JK Rowling and I fell in love with it. I don't love using it by itself but with the iconic nude lip liner, amazing. It is such a good nude lipstick, I absolutely love it. And the last lipstick I'm going to tell you guys about is a Matte Revolution lipstick. That is the formula that Pillow Talk is. But it is more of a brown nude shade. I absolutely love this lipstick as well. All three of these lipsticks I personally love more than Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk would be my fourth favorite. And so I wanted to share them with you guys so that if you're interested, you try those colors. All right, so those lipsticks were my ninth favorite suggestion. If I had to pick one lipstick, I think my number one favorite would be the Very Victoria, if worn by itself. But if I can pair the lipstick with a lip liner, then the Dance Floor Princess with the iconic nude lip liner, what I'm wearing, I love it. It's so good. My tenth and last favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury. I thought long and hard about this and I am going to go with this one right here. This is the Collagen Lip Bath in Refresh Rose. It is a clear gloss. 
and it is plumping. This has collagen in it, so it makes your lips look plumper. It helps with the lines on your lips. I've heard that Charlotte wears this to bed as a collagen treatment for nighttime. I don't know about wearing a lip gloss to bed because it would immediately be on my pillow, but if you don't sleep like a monster like I do, then maybe it is for you. <laughs> I'm not a super gloss person, which is why I'm super surprised that I would pick this for a favorite, but this is not a sticky gloss. It is a really nice, comfortable to wear gloss and it visibly plumps up your lips without it hurting or itching or feeling uncomfortable. I've tried a lot of lip plumping glosses and I hate them all because they make my lips feel so weird. This one, however, just gives you a really nice minty sensation. It plumps up your lips and it makes them look super juicy. So those right there are my top 10 suggestions for Charlotte Tilbury that are on Pillow Talk. Again, um, I know I suggested a bit more than 10, but the lipsticks count as one. I could honestly keep going because there are a lot of other Charlotte Tilbury products that I am absolutely obsessed with, but 10 is 10, and so here we are. I'm about to share with you the three must-haves from these 10 products that I just recommended. So if you try anything from this video, I recommend that you try these three. Must-have number one is this right here, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And the reason is that this is a very unique product. No other brand has something quite like this. I think NARS just came out with like a glowy mixer, but it is absolutely not the same as this one. Theirs is like super sheer. This actually like packs a punch, okay? It's very unique, it's very different, and you can pair it with absolutely anything. So this right here is a must-have from Charlotte Tilbury. The second must-have is the Contour Wand. This just gives you the most perfect, beautiful, contour and it's so easy to apply if you've struggled with contouring i absolutely recommend that you try this one you can blend it out with a brush with a puff with a beauty blender it blends out with anything and it gives you the most perfect beautiful contour so i would definitely definitely give the hollywood contour wand a try next time you shop charlotte tilbury and then my third must-have is the face palette right here. I am obsessed with this thing. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I want to use it almost on a daily basis when I get ready for work and I've been trying to avoid doing that because I want it to last me a very long time to use it on trips or to travel with because it is just so freaking ideal for that. I absolutely love the colors on here. I think they are so flattering on so many different skin tones. If you think that you can get some use out of a product like this one, I absolutely recommend that you get your hands on it because you're not going to regret it. It is so freaking beautiful. Okay guys, and that brings us to the end of this video. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Let me know what you guys thought of my top 10 favorite products that are in Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. Have you tried any of these? Let me know if some of these are your favorites as well. I would love to know. Don't forget to check out Erin Nicole's channel next. I'm going to go ahead and link her video up there so that you guys can watch it. I cannot wait to see what her favorites are and if they are completely different from mine or if we have a lot of like overlapping products. I am very curious to see her picks and I hope you are too. So go ahead and head over to her channel after you give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you over here and that way you can keep up with any future content my next video coming up is the five looks one palette with the Amrezy palette that is some of what I'm wearing today as well and I hope you guys stay tuned for that that brings us to the end of this video I really hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one bye